we start with one or chart just i want to give a quick update and if you refer to our analysis after we get this move we mentioned we are expecting to get at least one more drop and this is what we get anyway we have been looking for buy and as we can see since the price was here we mentioned we are not really interested to look closer because we didn't have any opportunity to look closer and whoever sell from here they should take at least they should take out the trade in the break even all right right now i'm looking at this one if I get any opportunity for buy, I will take it. This is I'm looking. This is what I'm looking for. With the breakout of the 19, I'm looking for the 20 as a first start, 20 cent for as a first target for in by 22 cent. All right. For me, as I mentioned, it's, I'm not really interested to look for sell. I'm looking for buy. I'm looking for this reversal. And the only times I will look for sell, I will consider to look whether I should look for sell or not. If I get one more, uh, if we get the reversal, and if this one turns to a correction. We put in relative to this, this is where I will take the sell. And with the breakout of the 15 or 16, we can look for 14 as a and 11 cent as a target. All right. But this is too early to talk about that. The only things I want to highlight where we will take the sell if we get one move up, then if we see that this one turn to a flat. That's why if we get any opportunity for buy from here, we will take it. If it turns to I mean, sharp re reversal as what we expected. We keep the trade. This is the targets we're looking for. But if you see one move up, this is the way is reversing is very corrective. All right. We see this one turn to flat. The prices couldn't break the previous top or it could break as a corrective move. This is where we should know how to manage our trade for buying. Either we should take out the trade or move our stop loss to break even. Then any trade for sell from there, we will take it. This is where I will take the sell. Selling from here, I want, uh, I'm not really interested unless we see some changes later. But at this point, if we see any opportunity for sell, I will go give update. But at this point, I'm looking for buy, all right? And in this case, we move to daily chart. And based on daily chart, nothing changed. The only things we're looking for, we're looking for the reversal. And with the breakout of the 36, we're looking for 41, following by 48 cent as a day, daily targets. But we can expect the price consolidated here for a longer time before we see the reversal. That's why we have to look for trade based on lower time frame. And if we move to forward chart, similar explanation as what we had based on one hour chart. Any trade for buy from here, we will take it and we need to see the breakout of the 20 and 20, uh, 22 cent. And if I move to one hour chart, how we can look for trade, either we look for the reversal as a short move or flag. And having a trade above this can be an option, but we should know that this is really risky and what we want price sharply tag breaking continue with the price tag within the first hour maximum second hours we see is not there is no continuation we shouldn't keep the trade we should take out the trade all right anyway we just follow the chart if i see any update i will share thanks